Hello everybody, we're back for more recipes. Hi Carlo. Hey Mary. How are you? Very good, very good. Um, so today we have a special treat for you. If you know what this is, we're going to the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> Scallop shell. A scallop shell. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be filling these up with some seafood. Seafood, yeah. And potatoes. Potatoes yeah. and a bichamel. Bichamel. Now, we cannot call these coquille Saint-Jacques. No, because a real term is coquille Saint-Jacques, it's only scallops. Because we're putting a crab and we're putting a shrimps, scallops, we, we should call it the you know, coquille de Frignac. Okay, so let's a see seafood food. Uh, shell, yeah. Right, okay, so, so now what have, do we have, Carlo? We have a French onion, uh, French shallot, regular shallot, garlic, shrimps, mozzarella, we have uh, crab, simply crab uh, scallops, mushrooms, chamel, and potatoes. We have some white wine, some cognac, and uh, some paprika. So we'll put a little bit of oil, a little garlic, some shallots, it, cook, it cooks pretty fast so after that we'll put the mushroom. Never forget to salt and pepper. We'll put the scallops. We'll put a little bit of tanya. Some white wine. I didn't put the shrimps yet because the shrimps are already cooked and the uh, and the uh, crab is already cooked. So I'm just you don't want it overcooked it either. Now we now we put the shrimps and now we're putting the crab. Make sure you put salt, pepper. It's very important. You always season everything you do. We're gonna add the bechamel inside. The bechamel is a little bit thicker because there's juice inside the, the fish. If you would have made the bechamel too liquidy, then it would have been like water. We'll put a little bit of the cage just on top and just a little bit here because we need it for the top. So as you can see, the, uh, the mixture, the seafood mixture is ready. The mashed potatoes, or mashed potatoes, right? With butter, salt, pepper. Okay, and you so. put them in a piping bag? Put in a piping bag. Uh, some people don't have piping bag, you have to do it with a spoon. Okay. Uh, so just go around. And did you use a star tip? Yeah, star, it's a star tip. tip. A wide star tip. Yeah. So basically you're just creating a wall so that your mixture goes inside. The mixture goes inside. Sometimes it's long, so you have to leave the piping really open in the front. What's going to jam? Always keep turning your piping. It's easier, you know, instead of squeezing it, it's going to come both sides. This is like an, an entree. Just keep pushing down and turn. So as you can see, the shells have been piped right. Look, with, uh, you, yeah, with, with, with uh, mashed, potatoes. mashed potatoes. If you don't have the shells, uh, you could uh, use rice, put the rice in the middle of the plate and you just put a scoop of, uh, you make like a nest and you put a scoop of fish inside. You know, you don't have to really like have, you know, buy the, the shell if you don't have, but if you have, it's better. Okay, yeah. so now... Now we'll fold them up. And there's not a lot that goes inside. No, well, as for an entree, it's just perfect, you know. Yeah. 
Sometimes it doesn't look like there's a lot, but there's quite a bit of fish. Like, you know, if you have two spoons of this, yeah. it's quite a bit. And it makes a wonderful, um, it's a wonderful start to a meal. Yeah. So as, as you know, if you're of Italian origin, you probably know that on Christmas Eve, uh, we usually celebrate the Feast of the Seven Fishes. And more often than not... See, we have four of them already. <laughs> we have four of the seven fishes. Um, yeah, more often than not, this is how, you know, uh, this is another option that you have to serve fish. Yeah. You want to make sure that they're f filled. I don't think it's okay. Then after that, we'll put mozzarella on top. You could put, you know, some other kind of cheese, a stronger cheese. But the Italians are like, they don't like that smelly cheese. <laughs> we love our mozzarella yeah. cheese. So you're putting about a two tablespoon, spoons. two tablespoons? Yeah. And that's going to get all nice and bubbly kind of and yeah. burnt. We're going to put it on broil. Yeah. And we'll put a little bit of paprika. Like I said before, you could use Cajun if you have. If you don't have Cajun, you know, Cajun is a lot stronger taste and a spicer herb. So everything is cooked here. The mashed potatoes are cooked, yeah. the filling is cooked. So you're broiling them for... Well, uh, about 15 minutes. 15 Just keep an eye on it because it depends on what... I have a gas uh, broiler, so it's like a, a barbecue. So I don't know, you know what you have, so you keep an eye on them. Okay, we'll yeah. show you what they look like. Yeah, we'll put them in the oven now. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. And this is the final product. It yeah. looks wonderful, golden. Broiled, yeah. Bubbly. Uh, to finish it off, uh, I will put some chives or parsley. Right now I have parsley, so you know, just to decorate a bit in the plate if you want. Gives it a bit of color. It gives it a little bit of color to this white. Yeah. And then another trick to give is when you serve it, what's going to happen if you take this in a plate, and it goes like that, right? It shakes. It shakes, and, and, and you might drop it. So what you could do is... And a little bit of potato in the middle, right a bit in the middle, the middle like this, and then you put your. Wow! So that you know, you, you know, I won't fall. It doesn't fall. <laughs> it doesn't fall. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know that. No. Now that was pretty good. That's Thanks, Carlo. Nice. Thank you. For sharing all your tips and tricks. Thank you very much. So there you go, guys. Enjoy. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna call this, but we'll call it uh, seafood. Uh, seafood. Carlo seafood. Seafood shell. Yeah. Something. Alright. Enjoy. Thank you. Take care. Bye.